Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I will be installing one of them there, Solid State Drives by Samsung. This is the 840 Evo, so stay tuned. So almost a year ago, I bought one of these Asus laptops. It was the Q200e. I got it at Best Buy for the unbelievable low price of $400. And that's a pretty good price for, for one of these Ultrabooks. However, the way that they got the price down at the time, remember this was a year ago, was to sacrifice a couple of things that most people um, may not quite notice, like memory the memory it comes with four gigs but it's soldered to the motherboard so you can't you know upgrade and speed this thing up anymore via ram another thing is they uh also failed to put bluetooth so i had to put a bluetooth dongle here but there is a way to go in there and change that but um the the best way if you want to get more performance out of this particular asus book is to put what one of them their solid state drive so the prices come down especially the samsung they they have a great reputation and 250 gigabytes of solid state storage for 189 that's uh that's enough for me to go ahead and pull the trigger on this so of course they they've done a couple of things to up that storage but keep the price down and, and one of the ways without getting too complicated plus my understanding is limited on this is um, you know you have chips and they have these uh, what they call cells that you know memory little bits of information are stored in and they found a way to put three bits of information into each cell thereby reducing the amount of physical hardware that goes into this box um, but the, uh, the last version they had done it, but what happened was, or I don't know if they put two or three, but the last version they sort of did a little bit of the squeezing more bits into a cell, and the write performance sort of wasn't quite there, even though the read performance was very good. With this version, the 840 EVO, EVO Steady for Evolution, what they did was they set aside some of the memory to only put one bit in and act as a cache to write to the rest of it, thereby speeding up the performance of the of the writes. So for this project, you're going to need a couple of things because this is just the hard drive. Now there are some kits that come with some extra things. This one doesn't. This one just the hard drive, and it comes with some software, some Samsung migration software, which is uh, sort of clones your hard drive, which. Uh, Works okay, but there, there is a problem, and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. You're also going to need something to hook up your other drive to, or you, first you, you put it on this and transfer the data from your computer, hard drive, to this first, and then you're going to swap it out. So you need one of these guys. This is a USB to SATA, or however you want to transfer it. Some kits come with it. This one does not. So you're going to need it. You also, since you're going to be opening up your computer, most likely you're going to need screwdrivers. So here's the drive. It's a 2.5 inch solid state drive. And it has uh, little holes here on the sides and the bottom to mount. Also, I'd like to point out that this is only 7 millimeters thick, which is important so it can fit into the Q200E Asus netbook. Now here's the connector I had spoke about previous and it has the SATA connector on one side that you plug into the solid state drive and it has the USB on the other side. Now next thing we'll do is go ahead and grab the software load it into the CD drive and begin imaging the hard drive. One of the first things that happened when I uh, kicked off the migration software is it went out for an update so we'll go ahead and do that really quick. So now we'll go ahead and actually clone the drive again we are cloning the hard drive that's inside the computer the original drive to the solid state drive that I have connected via the USB port on the uh, right side of the computer that you can see there you can see that the solid state sitting there right here on my desk now I'm not gonna go ahead and bore you by making you watch the entire cloning process your speed will vary depending on you know if you if you have a USB 3 and whether you have a USB 3 USB 
to SATA adapter. So we'll just go ahead and get this cloned. And once we are complete, I'll be right back. All right, we have a successful clone and uh, it was pretty easy and painless. So now that we have the clone complete, we'll go ahead and unplug the solid state drive. And again, to make sure you turn your computer off, of course, and flip it over. And we need to sort of get inside. Now, there are um, how many screws to this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Really? I think I had more than that. Up oh, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're, they're nine screws. And start screwing. All right, that was uh, a lot of quick screwing there. And now I'll start to try to pry the cover off this thing. And uh, let, let this be a lessons learned. <laughs> Again, uh, just so you know, I, I'm narrating this as I watch this video. But um, I, I'm sitting here trying to pry the cover off. And I'm doing it from the wrong side. If I had watched some other YouTube videos first, I would have known to start at the back <laughs> and go to the front. So I, I'm literally uh, ripping my freaking nail off trying to get into this thing and um i, I i'm ready to uh yeah there's my my fingernail all busted <laughs> so uh lessons learned don't try to pry this thing off with your fingernail use a credit card of some sort i'm gonna go ahead and use my um um card for a grocery store giant here and you know you use that as a prying tool now i haven't quite got yet that i need to be starting from the back this is uh this kind of entertaining watching myself make a fool of myself but i'm going to leave it in just so you know that um you know all of us are capable of making mistakes and and <laughs> and i make many of them but you know if you don't make errors and mistakes you never really learn yet there has to be a cost for doing stupid things or we would just continue doing stupid things right it, it's sort of uh, it, it's weird human nature it's like um, you know the most exciting things in life are the things that will probably uh, easily kill you <laughs> yeah uh, it's funny so anyway I, I'm, I'm actually getting some success here I, I went ahead and somehow managed to get the corner pride open on the front first and uh, I'm trying to strong on this thing open, which is not the smartest thing to do. What you really need to do is take the card, and again, starting from the back and working forward, is to just go ahead and work the card um, around it, you know, just snapping the clips loose as you, as you go down. You can see I am sort of doing it from the front here, which again, not the right thing to do, start from the back. Oh boy, I, I'll tell you that th th it's, this is the hardest part of the build right here, uh, of the upgrade. And you can see how easy the, the back part comes off. So again, if I had started from the back and then hinge it up forward, hinge it up, and it, it would have all come apart very easily to begin with. So let this be your lessons learned so um, I suffered so you don't have to. Um... Well, I, I'm going bald up there, ain't I? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Now, there, there are special tools that you could get. I didn't have any. So, the the, car, the credit card works fine. So, there it is. Opened up pretty easy once uh, you know the trick. Well, now that we have it open, we have a clear view of the hard drive right here. You can see there are three screws that we need to take out to um toward your top there i'm starting with the uh, left top and then there's a uh, one on the right and then there's only one on the bottom 
which you'll see here in a second because the uh, fourth screw that's holding it in it was actually a screw that was also holding on the bottom cover that we just removed um, also well uh, I just want to continue here I'll go ahead and get the screw out last one and once we do that we could go ahead and just pull on this little plastic tab here just pull pull and the drive comes out of the SATA slot so you can see here it does have some side rails on here it also has this plastic uh, sticky thing that covers the electronics we could go ahead and pull that off and stick it on the new drive just stick it on there is it necessary on the solid state drive not really but it does make it easier to um, pull it out when if you ever decide to replace the the drive again boy they really stuck this freaking thing on good there it is um really that was just to cover the electronics i think more than anything else on the regular hard drive that came with this which by the way was a 500 gigabyte uh but very slow hitachi hard drive you can see it has the side rails here we need to go ahead and remove those so we can install it onto the solid state drive get your orientation right so you make sure you put the rails on the right way that's sort of why I, I put these together like this so we'll go ahead and unscrew these rails and, and stick it on the new one I don't wanna again make too long of a video and bore you to tears so I'm finishing up uh, installing the rails onto the new solid state drive making sure all the screws are snugged up uh, pretty good then we'll go ahead and put the little plastic sticky pull tab thingy onto the new drive it should it should pretty much fit the uh the new drive since the dimensions are exactly the same with no problem again it's only purpose at this point is just uh to aid in the removal of this drive if you ever have to um take it out you know maybe uh when when higher capacity solid state drives come down to the same price as this one you might want to just go ahead and upgrade again so there we go and we'll just go ahead and um what am i doing <laughs> for the love of pete put it in the computer thank you very much okay so go ahead and just uh stick it in the slot slide it in and uh we'll go ahead and get the screws and and screw the three screws back into the hard drive Now the hard drive is installed in and cozy we'll go ahead and put the cover back on again start with the front and, and press that in and then work your way to the back and now it's for that time again it's time to screw Okay, enough screwing around. We'll go ahead and cross our fingers and cross our toes and make sure this all um, works. We'll go ahead and grab the power, plug it in, open it up, and let's see how long it takes to boot up. And the monkey hits the button. Wow, that was pretty fast. Now I'm going to install these cool stickers that came with this to call this installation complete. One thing to note, so I've been using this for a week now, and I have found out that the recovery partition that uh, was cloned over to this new solid state drive doesn't work anymore. As a matter of fact, uh, I, I tried it out, and I hit the magic button that made it boot into the recovery partition, and it sort of got stuck, and I couldn't uh, recover the machine, and I couldn't get back to the normal boot up to the normal um, Windows 8 partition. So I had to reclone this uh, solid state drive again from the original to get everything working again. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and wrap things up. One thing to keep in mind, if you notice, I sort of, uh, you know, I was prying from the front and everything. For the, for the Asus, for people who have this Asus Q200E, start by cracking open, you know, after you remove all the screws, start by 
prying the the bottom off from the back start from these corners and then once you work out the sides it practically just hinges open it's a lot easier to get off than starting from the front like I did lessons learned um, the other thing um, as far as rating this I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10 and the reason why it loses a couple of points not because it, it's I mean the hard drive itself is, is outstanding it deserves a 9 out of 10 but I'm hitting the whole package because it didn't come with this and because of the problems with the migration software messing up the recovery partition so because of that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit it two points but still highly highly recommend it gets a day 8 out of 10 okay well thank you very much for joining me here at the gear obsession channel I really appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and you and I hope you have a awesome weekend take care